today we're doing a tutorial on registration lines registration target two lines excuse me for Adobe Photoshop uh, the results should look a little like this and we'll add some text to to make it look similar to this first of all open Adobe Photoshop I use this Adobe Photoshop Elements 8 they've come out with in Elements 9, it's about $60. You can save like $40. And want to launch your editor. Go to File, go to New, Blank File. Make sure the width is 1900 pixels, the height is 1200 pixels, and the resolution is 72 pixels slash inch. The color mode has to be RGB color. Background contents has to be white. Select OK. Move it to the back. Then you want to select a nice dark color. I'm selecting this dark blue, for instance. Select your fill tool and fill it. Go to a new layer, layer 1. You can change the names by right clicking it and going up to rename. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to go to elliptical marking tool and make an elliptical. So it's about even on all sides almost. Then you want to get a lighter color. I'm choosing a lighter blue. Go to fill tool and fill, fill the circle. Deselect and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Make sure the radius is 250 pixels. Select OK and your final result will look like this. Then what you want to do is zoom out to 23.33 pixels percent and then you want to go to your custom shape tool go up here to shape go down to find your registration tool um, it's down near the bottom it looks like this registration target 2 then you want to draw over this so it looks a bit like this try to center it the best you can you want to change the blending mode to luminosity it's the at the bottom here you keep the opacity at 100% and you want to merge both of these down. All layers down. You can zoom back in to 33%. And then you need this picture of flowers uh, for texture. I use this for instance. If you want to use this picture, the link to this picture is down in the description. You can save it there. So what you want to do is you want to set your foreground back to white and you want your background back to black. Go to file. You, you'll want to open it and open the picture up so it looks like this. Then you want to press control shift U. Then you want to go to filter, filter gallery, go to sketch, bass relief, go to detail it has to be 15, this movement needs to be 2. The light has to be bottom. Select OK. It will turn out to look like this. Press Control A, Control C, minimize it, Control V. It will come up as a new layer like this. It will be small, but you can press Control T to make it bigger. Fill it over the entire picture. After you're done with that, you can press the little green check, and it will have to cover it like this. Then what you want to do is go to, for this layer, go to the blending options, then go to overlay. It'll look like this. Yes, it's a little hard light, so you want to change the opacity to 23%, and it should look like that. Then after that, you can merge that down, make a new layer. Make sure you have your foreground white and go to your brush tool. Make sure you have a soft brush about 1300 pixels and make sure the opacity is 30%. Then you can click the middle to get just about how you want it. Make the blending mode overlay and it will make it glow. You can change the opacity. I'm going to change it to 60%. And then after this, you're pretty much done by this point. 
you've made your whatever you want to call it your registration target tool lines um your lines your you know whatever you want to call it so you can work this down and then there's another tutorial about how you can download fonts uh, the link is in the description and anyway you want to get a font unless you can find a font that you like on here too um you want to go to the text tool and then go up here and I'm going to use a font called Bloodlight. I downloaded this from a site, thefont.com or something like that. The link is in the description to that. Um, you want to select your font. You can pick a color. I'm just going to pick black for now. And then click on your picture and start typing. Let's see. Um, You can do this, just type in what you want, and you can make it bigger. I'm going to make this about mm, two ninety, eh, about two fifty. You move it around. I'm gonna put it right here, and then you can make another one. And you can make that even smaller. I'm just gonna make this smaller because it makes it look cool. Let's go for 200. Eh, 190. That'd be good. You move that around. Put it over here. And then you can make a third one. I'm just going to put tutorial. And I'm going to make it even smaller than that. So we'll go about 220. We're over here. And then you have that. And that's pretty much what you do. Um, over here you can merge these down. Uh, you want to simplify all the text layers. Just right click and go up to simplify layer. Then you can select the similar layers and merge them down. You want to merge the last tutorial down. And so you have just background. Then you have this. There's other things you can do. You can add more stuff. You can draw on it. You can make it. There's certain texts. I have fonts to make it look like that. You can make other colors. You can mix colors instead of making it all one color. You can make it like Christmas colors. You can find a whole bunch of stuff on Google that will help you with this. Um, so this is pretty much it. If you need more, if you have any more questions, you can just uh, send me a message or comment on the video. I would like lots of thumbs up. And yeah. You can make video responses, anything. If this helps you out, please tell me. Thank you. If you but yep, I hope you subscribe. And if you need any any links, they're down in the description. So thanks guys. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and this is what your end result is right here. So there you go.